ever get that feeling like, ah, uh, life's kind of testing you, seeing what you're made of. You know those moments when you have to decide if you're going to step up or back down? Oh, absolutely. Like those crossroads, you know? Exactly. And that's what we're diving into today. We're tackling courage with a little help from the Stoics. Always a good idea to have the Stoics in your corner. Right. So we've got this excerpt, and it dives into why the Stoics believed courage was the most essential virtue, even more than, like, temperance or justice. It's true. They really put it front and center. And one of the things I found really interesting was how they connected courage to facing challenges. Oh, yeah. They were big on that whole, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger idea. Exactly. Though maybe not in such a you know intense way. It wasn't about glorifying suffering. More like they saw hardship as, well, inevitable, part of life. Okay. So it's not about wanting bad things to happen. Right. It's more about how you deal with those things when they do happen. Because they will, unfortunately. So true. But I gotta say, I'm not always great at that. Sometimes I just want to hide under the covers when things get tough. Does that make me, like, the opposite of courageous? Not at all. We all have those moments. The Stoics weren't superhuman, you know? They felt fear and anxiety just like the rest of us. The difference is, they believed that courage wasn't about not feeling fear, but about acting despite that fear. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. So how do we actually do that? How do we tap into that stoic courage? Well, the excerpt actually starts with this really powerful line from the novel, All the Pretty Horses. It says, the world wants to know if you have cojones, if you are brave. Whoa, talk about a wake up call, right? Right, it's like the universe is asking, are you up for this? And the stoics believe that every choice we make, every action we take, is basically our answer to that question. So it's not just about like, you know, fighting dragons or whatever. Exactly. Courage shows up in the everyday stuff too, like speaking up for what you believe in, even when it's uncomfortable, or finally starting that creative project you've been putting off, or even just being honest with yourself and others. It's like all those little moments where you have to choose between taking the easy way out and like challenging yourself to be a little braver. Yes. And those small acts of courage, they add up over time. They shape who we become. That's actually really inspiring. It makes courage seem a lot more attainable, you know? Like, yeah. it's not this big abstract thing. It's about those small, everyday choices. Exactly. And the more we make those choices, the stronger that courage muscle gets. So next time you're facing a tough decision or feeling that resistance, ask yourself, what would the most courageous version of myself do in this situation? Ooh, I like that. It's like a little challenge we can give ourselves each day. Exactly. Embrace those moments of discomfort, those opportunities to step outside your comfort zone. Because that's where the real growth happens, right? Wow, this deep dive has really given me a new perspective on courage. It's not about being fearless, it's about acting, even when you are afraid. Couldn't have said it better myself. And who knows, you might surprise yourself with what you're capable of. I'm ready to find out. Huh? So to everyone listening, remember that question from all the pretty horses. What will your
with power.